well, a complicated business, this, but let's try and unravel it. Joining me now is Jacques Roland, the head of European Studies at London the Metropolitan University. What are the principal problems in getting this agreement? But it is, as Angela Merkel said herself, a Herculean task because you have to reconcile the demands from two different sets of countries. On one hand, you have the 18 countries that have already ratified the treaty and they don't, they don't want the new treaty to be emptied of its substance. And on the other hand, some countries which have voted no or some who would have voted no, such as Britain, uh, are very reluctant, have some red lines which they don't want to see in the treaty. Now, now Poland's arguments about losing out under the uh, proposed changes to the voting system, uh, it seems reasonable enough, doesn't it? Uh, not really, because that's one of the problems. The, the main uh, point of this uh, treaty, what we're going to try to preserve from the constitution, we're going to uh, there will be an agreement definitely not to call it a constitution but what we will try to preserve is uh, the improvement in the decision making process which having a Europe with 27 members is uh, necessary if you want to make the European Union more effective, more democratic and more transparent and that involves uh, changing, uh, making sure that this, there's two issues in the decision making process which are important. One of them is the amount of decisions which can be done with qualified majority voting and the other one is how you calculate this qualified majority voting. In the case of the Polish, of the Poles, their main concern is their weighting will go down under the new treaty because under the Nice treaty they were given almost equal ranking in terms of vote in the Council of Ministers with Germany, France and Italy. Okay, okay, very briefly, Angela Merkel talked of extremely serious consequences if no agreement is reached. What do you think she meant by that? Well, she meant that uh, the whole uh, European process could unravel, but I don't share that view because we've seen already the rejection of the Constitution has not led uh, to the end of the European Union. And I think that personally there will be uh, some kind of deal. I hope the deal takes place because it is actually very important for Europe. Let's not forget, we need to sort out this institutional question, but the, the most important thing is that the institutions are just a toolbox. What will matter is the type of policies that will be needed. And it's very important for Europe to be effective and to be able to take decisions and even to have a foreign minister, even if the new treaty will not give in its title, because Europe wants to be an actor in this globalized world and not just a spectator. And also a push a permanent president as opposed to this rotating system and uh, they're talking yes, about that Tony Blair. Be very important okay and that's a story that we're, we're uh, going to be yeah a story yeah, we'll deal with later. Yeah. Jacques Roland thank you very much indeed uh, and I'll be back a little later in the program but for now it's back to Darren in Doha.